The indelible images of Caroline Kennedy's childhood, the little girl in the White House hiding under her father's desk, sitting beside her mother in bed. And if you look closely, there is often something else, books, many of them filled with poetry. My mother taught me a, a short poem by Edna St. Vincent Millay when I was about three, and I do remember reciting it for my father. And what would your dad say to you after you? I don't know, everyone would clap, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't until years later that she discovered a poem selected by her brother, a young John, and it had a twist. Because uh, careless Willie with a thirst for gore nailed his sister to the door. Mother said with humor quaint, careful Willie, don't spoil the paint. So I, I mean, I saw it, I just, I couldn't even believe it. I was so, you know, I could just picture us at that age. It really made me laugh. That laughter, those memories, kept alive by the poems, and she's looking to do the same now for other young people in her new book, Poems to Learn by Heart. Hi, how are you? Quietly, Caroline has been volunteering at New York's public schools at an innovative program called Dream Yard in the Bronx, using the arts to give students there a voice. It's really changed like the per who, who I am as a person. You wouldn't have been standing in front of this camera. Not at all. <laughs> so when you hear that, yeah. that it's given them a voice? Yes. <laughs> what, what do you think? I hope that other people their age will, will look at them and see how words and ideas have the power to change your life. For Good Morning America, David Muir, ABC News, New York. Poems to Learn by Heart goes on sale today.